Good afternoon everybody, my name is Maya the King and today we're looking at a game just released in early access on Steam today called Lord of Rigel, a 4X style sci-fi strategy game. I'm sure a lot of you out there have played games like this or at least seen games like this so hopefully I won't have to go too deep into the details. It's kind of like a board game, but it's a video game, turn based, empire management, strategy conquer everything kind of game. All right. Now this game was developed by Rhombus Studios and published by Iceberg Interactive and just to reiterate this game is in early access and it cost me 20 American dollars. Hoo boy, that's a lot of money for an early access investment. I mean, maybe not to some people, but to me and my broke ass it sure is. Okay then, let's get into this. So, have any of you out there ever played Master of Orion? Yeah, because this is basically just that game. If you've already played Master of Orion and didn't really like it or you don't want to play it again, then maybe you should just move on to a different video. Don't worry, I'm still going to go into the good points and the bad points about this game, but I, cannot, I cannot progress further until you guys out there understand just how much this game is like compared to Orion, okay? So basically in this game you take control of a race of your choosing and set up your game like you would in a lot of 4x games. Pick the race with the pros and cons you like the most that fit your strategy the most and then head out to conquer the galaxy. I mean, <clears throat> you could see the similarities right off the bat, I mean right from the very beginning to uh, Master of Orion. There's an animal like race where Orion had bears, this one has lions, a bug race, a rock race, so far exactly the same. Humans, but I'll let that one slide since those are in almost every game. A reptile race just like in Orion. A secret race that doesn't like to reveal anything and they are all about spies. A flying race of pterodactyls where in Orion they were eagles. But still, the only unique thing here in this game that Orion doesn't have is a race of dolphin people. Which is silly at best. I mean dolphins don't even have fingers. Or wrists. So how the heck do they grab or twist anything? How do you build spaceships without the ability to use things like wrenches and screwdrivers? But whatever. They even have a robotic mechanical race just like in Master of Orion. But still. On their own, the, the races are diverse at least, and some of them are kind of cool, but it's pretty much exactly why, what you'd expect them to be if you're playing Master of Orion too. Would people, would, would game devs just please stop screwing around and make a 4X game of Mass Effect already? I mean, these games are already trying to do that anyway, so let's just sign a petition and get EA and Bioware to let someone make a 4X strategy game of Mass Effect. I mean, both these games have the whole operation set up to simulate your own Mass Effect game. The lizard men who are strong with melee combat and reproduce like crazy, Krogan. Each game has a race that's highly untrustable, those would be the Quarians. Then you've got humans, a bird-like race that's excellent at space combat, the Turians. You've got the bugs that dominate with out-of-control birthing rates, the Rachni. The robots who are overpowered in every way, the Reapers. The race who came first and thinks they're better than everybody else, the Asari. The race that's all about science and technological discovery, the Salarians. See what I mean? Just cut it out and give us the Mass Effect 4X game that we all so desperately want and stop beating around the bush. Okay. Sorry about that little tangent, but I've always noticed that and I just really want a Mass Effect 4X game. But seriously, even down to the research screens, which look identical to the one in Master of Orion, this game has everything like that game copied here. It pretty much has everything the other game has with the exclusion of the cinematic view when you're in space battles. I mean, it even has the Galactic News Network just like the other game. But if you don't know about Master of Orion, let me put it briefly. You control a race in space. Each planet can be colonized, which you have to discover first, obviously. When you go to colonize, you get a little cutscene. You then build buildings on that planet to help the people there expand, pay taxes, or build war machines. Then you take warships and troop transports to enemy planets and destroy their fleets in little mini battles you can watch or control. Then have your troops invade the planet and take it over, rinse and repeat. You can also just bomb the planet to dust or research a deadly plague that you can then unleash and wipe out all life in the galaxy except for you, all in an attempt to conquer it and win the game yourself. Victory conditions are similar to other games. Diplomatic, domination, economic, or some hidden achievement. Okay, most of the strategy, for me at least, is not going bankrupt and having the most planets and the biggest fleets. But now let's go into the good points of the game that actually stood out to me. Sorry if you hear any sound in the background, that would be my cat or my dog. I don't know which, they always pick the time I'm recording to come in here and say hi. The music is nice, although it likes to come and go randomly, but when it's there it is nice. Uh, when it's nice, it's subtle and in the background the way it's supposed to be, and when it's not so nice is when it's like the orchestra itself is in your living room blaring out your eardrums. The voice acting is well done, whenever it's heard, um, as are the remaining sound effects. They aren't the best I've ever heard, but they do their job well enough. The graphics look okay, I guess. Also, not the best, but they serve their purpose well enough. And the game had a pretty good tutorial. I mean, it was diverse and confusing, but only because there was a lot to learn. If you take your time, the tutorial isn't confusing and it's not too long and it's given to you in a way of almost storytelling, thus helping to immerse you into the game and really get to know it while you're learning it. Does that make any sense? The game overall isn't too difficult to learn, which is good. 
The gameplay is addictive and engaging, just like most 4X games, you know, you're always waiting to hit that next turn button to move on to the next thing. And honestly, for that price, it's not too bad. I know I ripped on the $20 price tag a bit much earlier, and it might be a little bit much for an early access game, but you gotta think about the amount of time you'll be playing this, if, you know, if you're enjoying it at least. We're talking over 40 hours of gameplay and tons of replayability options here. And that's an early access, so the price tag is not that bad if I'm being honest. But those are the only really good things I have to say about this game. As for the negatives, most of these might not mean much due to the fact that the game is in early access, but I wanted to point them out anyway so you guys have all the facts. The UI, or the user interface, is a little bit broken and confusing. They take a lot of information and jam it in everywhere, thus making all the information smaller and harder to find amongst all the other info scattered about. Plus, the boxes for clicking are a little wonky and off-center. Sometimes your mouse won't click when it's supposed to or something, or on something because the whole setup is just a bit off. It makes playing this game confusing even more so than it already was. The stability as a whole is pretty off. By the way, <clears throat> I want to apologize if I sound a bit off. I'm still recovering from a cold, so I'm, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, back, back to what I was saying. The stability as a whole is pretty off. Sometimes the game would freeze or sputter, and by sometimes I mean pretty much every minute. Sometimes things would click or wouldn't click when I wanted them to, and everything is just jumbled together in such a way to make every little act confusing. Why give me three different ways to look at my planet? Why not just give me one, since all of them do the exact same thing? It's needlessly confusing, and I hate when developers try to make their game feel more technical and innovative simply by making them more complicated than they need to be and jamming in more information than we need. The universe is kind of unimaginative and boring to look at. The UI is focused, focused in such a way that makes navigating and issuing commands needlessly difficult, and even the space combat and ground combat is pretty boring. Hell, some of the buttons don't even work. I tell my units to, exp to explore, and then the next time I click on them to explore, the button is just missing. I tell my units in battle to auto-engage, and they just sit there doing nothing. I try to split up my fleet into multiple fleets for multiple actions, doing exactly what the game told me to do, by the way, and they wouldn't split up. So, as I said earlier, most of the problems with this game is the fact that it's early access and it's not published yet. Overall, it was really hard to review this game, especially when I had to keep comparing it to Master of Orion. As an early access, did anything big enough strike out at me to warrant a non-recommendation? Not really, other than the fact that this is a blatant copy of Master of Orion. But otherwise, it's your typical 4x strategy game in space. Not much more to it than that, so if that's what you're looking for, then this game will definitely scratch that itch for you. But even then, I would highly recommend you wait a while until it gets some more polishing. It just, it feels dirty overall, does that make any sense? It's so unpolished in a lot of ways that it takes the fun out of it for me. I don't like the boring galactic view and all the nothing that I have to look at. I didn't like the slow boring combat. I didn't like the galactic management because it was a bit too confusing for me. Not the management itself, the UI made the management more confusing than it already was. But there were two things that I liked that this game did differently from Master of Orion, and th it's just these two things. The first is when you invade a planet, you actually get to see your troops invade the planet's surface. This is super cool and something I always wished Master of Orion had. Please game devs, put some more attention to the ground invasions, please please pretty please. Some bullets going back and forth, enemy units facing your units, different types of units engaging each other, maybe the buildings are getting destroyed as the troops are fighting, you know, some more in-depth stuff would be really appreciated here. And the second was when you go in to manage your planet, you get to see the buildings you're creating and the community that's being built. You know, it takes you into a planet view, you know, a planet side. Master of Orion kinda had this idea down, but it was still viewing the planet from space. In this game, you actually get to go to the planet's surface, which I really think is better than the way Master of Orion was doing it. So, game devs work on developing this section a little bit more too, maybe have people walk around or see different things happening in the background. But, yeah, obviously obviously this game is in early access and it has a lot of problems. Game devs, please clean up that UI, it doesn't need repeats of information, and it doesn't need so much information. Also, make little info bubbles pop up on what your mouse is hovering over on everything and not just some of them, so that way you don't need all the reiterations of things. Focus a bit more on the cleanup of the UI as a whole, focus on the city management view and the planetary invasions, and otherwise, keep developing everything else the way you have been. Oh, and give us a, a cool cinematic view where our ships fight each other in space. I mean, you made everything else in your game like Master of Orion, so might as well add that too, right? Because I loved it when they did it, I loved it when Star Wars Empire at War did it, and I'll love it when you guys do it. Would I recommend this game? That depends. If you like what you see so far, don't mind a risky investment, and love 4X games, then yes, definitely invest here. It has a lot of potential. I mean, a lot of potential. But if you don't fall under the prerequisites I just said, then you're better off not even attempting to get into this game right now. Wait for a few updates or wait for it to fully finish. But, as of now, that's all I got to say about the game, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. 
Thanks again for watching, and I can't wait to see you all again on my next adventure. So until then, I bid you all farewell.